Hi guys, welcome back. Dentist Jess here today. Thanks for tuning in. If you've never been here before, welcome. If you've checked out a few of my other videos, I'm glad you're watching this one too. Today we are going to talk about what can cause a toothache. So this is something that's very applicable to most of us out there. All of a sudden you wake up and you're like, ah, oh, I don't know what I did, but all of a sudden my tooth is killing me. Watch this video. Stay tuned to the end to find out all the different reasons that you might have a toothache. Thanks for joining me today. I just want to take a minute to say thank you to everyone who has subscribed below. I really appreciate it. And thanks for commenting. It's so fun interacting, so thank you. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Share with your family and friends and get the word out there. I love being able to do what I do and teaching you guys about things relating to your mouth and what can cause a toothache it brings me a lot of joy. So make sure to share. So today I want to tell you about some of the main things that could be the cause the next time that you get a toothache. We're going to start of kind of the most common and then go a little bit less common, but you are going to want to make sure to stick around right to the end to hear all of them because you never know what could be the one that applies to you. So make sure to stay to the very end of this video. Uh, let's start off with the very, very first one, the very most common. The number one reason that people have a toothache is because they have a cavity. If you don't know what a cavity is, make sure to check out my video, What is a Dental Cavity? because it will explain to you why we get them. I also have one on things that you can do to avoid them or how to prevent them, so make sure to check those out, really important. The one thing to keep in note with cavities in particular is that usually they aren't painful until they're a little bit more advanced. Sometimes we can have sensitivity to hot or to cold that goes with it, but if the tooth starts to throb or ache, you probably have a cavity that's gone really deep into the pulp, which is the inside that's got our blood vessels and the nerves on the inside of the tooth. What this means is that you need to get in to see your dentist right away. The one thing people forget a lot of the time is that our teeth are actually connected to our bloodstream, to our blood vessels. So if you have an infection that's going on in the tooth, it's abscessing, the, the nerve on the inside is dying. This is connected to our bloodstream, which means it's connected to our heart, it's connected to our brain, it's connected to our lungs, and this is an infection that can spread. Our body does its best to try and prevent that spread, but it's super important to get it looked at and taken care of. Don't just leave it. It's not gonna get better. It's not gonna resolve on its own. So the number one thing that you might have if you have a toothache is a dental infection, an abscess, or a cavity. If you have any questions on what you can do to treat a cavity, make sure to check out my other video on how to get dental cavities treated. Uh, there's different things that we can do in the dental office, so make sure to check that out. The second most common reason that you might have a toothache or your, your tooth might be bothering you is that you might have problems with your bite. Now this one is really, really common if you just had a filling done. Lots of the times when we place the filling, you're numb on that side. You've had an aesthetic given, you can't really tell exactly if you're biting normal. You've also had your mouth probably open for a long time because you're sitting there waiting for us to do the filling, so your jaw might be a little bit sore or inflamed. So when we go to check your bite at the end, we don't know if that's accurate or not. So if in a day or two after you have a filling done, you're like, mm, nope, this tooth is really bothering me. I don't know why. All of a sudden it's kind of hurting. Like, what the heck? I thought that this was supposed to fix it. Call your dentist. You probably just need to have your bite adjusted. Similarly, if you've had any of your teeth shift, or move, we might start hitting them at different angles. This can irritate the ligament around the tooth. And again, we might just make, need to make a little adjustment. So if it starts to feel like, the closest thing I can compare it to is kind of like when you stub your toe and it's kind of that throbbing kind of ache. And then if you put a shoe on and then you rebump your toe, it hurts again. It's that same kind of a feeling. So if that's the case, call your dentist, see if they can do a bite adjustment on you. It's really quick, usually pretty simple, pretty painless, and it can really help to alleviate that problem. The third reason that we can have a toothache is actually not from the tooth, but from the gums. So we can have pain from our gums. This is most common with the culprit of popcorn kernels. I have seen so many people who are like, oh, myself included, I'm like, man, all of a sudden my tooth hurts. Like, what the heck? Why is this bothering me all of a sudden? I thought it was fine. I like, oh, I have a cavity. Like you, you go through that whole thing of like, oh my gosh, what's going on? Only to floss out a day later, a big popcorn kernel that was stuck up there. So tooth pain sometimes can be caused by inflammation or gingivitis in the gums. There might be something foreign in there, such as a popcorn kernel 
or even, and this is kind of gross, but I've seen people who maybe chew their nails, they get a little piece of their fingernail stuck up there. It can be painful, it can be tender. So that can be a cause of a toothache or tooth pain. If you have big spaces between your teeth and you're finding that you're getting a lot of things stuck in them, maybe talk to your dentist about seeing an orthodontist or maybe doing some kind of Invisalign or something to that effect to try and close those gaps so it's not so easy to get things stuck between your teeth. But gum pain can sometimes make itself as tooth pain or mouth pain and that might be the cause. Another culprit for toothaches is a cracked tooth. Now this is something that personally I have seen go up a lot this year with COVID and the coronavirus and the pandemic and jobs being lost and paychecks being cut and benefits being lost. I have seen so many people come in with cracked teeth. They've done studies on it and the incidence of cracked teeth has gone up. The incidence of grinding and clenching has gone up. So cracked teeth is definitely something that can cause a toothache. If it's just in the outside of the tooth, sometimes it's not symptomatic. You may not feel it. You might have a little bit of sensitivity to cold, sometimes to hot too. A lot of people I've noticed in their kind of mid to late 40s, 50s, 60s, um, who had the old amalgam, the silver fillings, placed as a child. What happens is that because it's a metal filling, it kind of expands and contracts a little bit differently than our tooth structure. We get these little micro fractures in the teeth around it. We bite down on something and all of a sudden we crack the tooth. Not uncommon, it happens a lot. Depending on the extent of the cracks, sometimes it's okay, we can just fix it. We can put a filling in or maybe we can do a crown on top of the tooth. If it goes all the way down the root of the tooth, we might have to take the tooth out. Sometimes if it goes into the pulp, again, the nerves and the blood vessels in the middle of the tooth, then you might be looking at a root canal. Depending where this crack goes kind of depends on the severity of the pain. If it's really throbbing, it's waking you up at night, it's super sensitivity to hot or cold that lasts for a while, there's a good chance you might need a root canal or you may need to have that tooth taken out and look at other options like an implant or a bridge. If it's just kind of chipped and sometimes it's a little bit sensitive or in the morning you notice you had a cup of coffee and you're like, ooh, I put my tongue over that because it's kind of bothering me. That means we might be able to fix it. Again, this is something that's case by case basis. You're gonna have to talk to your dentist about it and see what they can do. Um, but cracked teeth is another thing that can cause a toothache. Another thing that can cause a toothache is the eruption of new teeth coming in. So we see this a lot of the times in children when they're getting their permanent teeth coming in, they might get a little bump on their gum, it's sore, they get a little temperamental. Even in babies when they're getting their primary teeth in, they you have that whole teething phase and it's not the most fun as a parent, but it can be painful and tender and you get a toothache from that tooth coming through the gums. Similarly, as adults or late teens, when we start to get our wisdom teeth coming through, we can get a toothache from them, not only from the tooth coming through the gums, but also a lot of the times with wisdom teeth in particular, if it's not coming right up through the gum tissue in like a perfect orientation, we can get a little flap of tissue over top of the tooth, which can then get an infection going on underneath it. So you might need to go in if it's really, really painful to your dentist and have them clean it out. Sometimes they use a little laser to cut the tissue back. Sometimes they'll just take the wisdom through that altogether. It kind of depends. Depends on your specific situation, but making sure to keep that area really, really clean is gonna help. So another cause is a toothache. Lots of times, especially for wisdom teeth, it's kind of like a whole jaw ache. I've had patients come in and they're like, oh, I just, and my whole jaw hurts. It's probably from the tooth itself. So make sure that you check with your dentist to see if that's your case. That could be what's getting you the toothache. Another common cause for toothaches is actually not related to teeth at all, but to our musculature and our nerves that actually support the structures in our mouth. So if you suffer from migraines or headaches or neuralgias or even problems with your TMJ joint, referred to as TMD, temporomandibular joint dysfunction, that can also contribute to tooth pain. Sometimes those refer to specific teeth. It's really interesting how that works. So you might think you have a toothache, but in fact, you have something going on with the nerves or your jaw itself, the jaw joint itself. Again, even something like a sinusitis and inflammation in your sinuses can put pressure up here and it can, it can refer pain to your maxillary teeth, your upper teeth. So it might not be the tooth itself, it might be coming from another source. Usually this is less common than something like a tooth abscess or an infection. However, it is something that could be contributing to your tooth pain. Finally, the last thing that can contribute to tooth pain, which is something that most people don't really think about, but is actually teeth whitening. So whitening your teeth can make them really, really sensitive. There's different levels of whitening you can do, there's different types of whitening that you can do, whether you're doing 
the whitening strips over the counter or the in office or those little kits that you get in the mail that have the little light um, attached to them, it can contribute to a lot of sensitivity. So if you have sensitive teeth, make sure to talk to your dentist before you do that. I've seen cases where they did a really strong in office one and the next day the patient was like, oh my gosh, my teeth hurt so much. They're really, I can't breathe. Like inhaling cold air is killing me. So um, that can contribute to it. Even some of the whitening toothpaste that are out there, you guys have those abrasives in it and if you have really sensitive teeth, even that can irritate it a little bit. So that's kind of more of like a full mouth toothache. If it's, I mean, if you if you haven't done any whitening, obviously that's probably not the cause, but it's one that we don't really think about too much as can contribute to tooth pain and toothaches, but whitening can actually it can make our teeth more sensitive. If you do have sensitive teeth and you are wanting to whiten, I would try going with a really low dose first. Talk to your dentist about what they have. Uh, carbamide peroxide is a little bit more gentle than some of the hydrogen peroxide products out there. So if you're thinking about doing that, I would probably go that approach. You can even try one of those whitening pens or even the over-the-counter ones first to see how you do. Make sure that you get a desensitizing toothpaste and try that approach first. Don't just dive into the, oh, I want the whitest, whitest right off the get-go and whatever, I'll just deal with it. Um, because if you do have sensitive teeth, it, it could be very painful for you. All right, you guys, that is it. That's what I have for you today on things that can cause a toothache. If you have questions about any of them or you want me to elaborate on any of them, make sure to comment below. I have no problem sharing more information on any of those topics. Uh, make sure to ring that bell, subscribe, give me a thumbs up and share with your family and friends. I love making videos for you, so let me know what you think.